Seven Shepherds. What's up, YouTube? We are back. They did not miss that loud ass. Back with another video, baby. All right, tell them what we're doing, babe. We are gonna make some West Indian potato balls today. Guyanese potato ball. Obviously. So, about three or four good sized baked potatoes. Here we got, have a seasoning mix which has garlic, it has onion, it has a riri pepper, um, it has some fresh dry. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. A uh, riri pepper? Why can't we use a Caribbean habanero or a scotch bonnet pepper? Riri? You, I don't want to I, I don't want to use no riri pepper. <laughs> I do not a, a, a wee wee pepper. A, w. a wee wee? A wee wee pepper? You know what a wee wee is? You know in Trinidad, you know what wee wee is? A wee wee is a we damn. Not, we in Guyana, we not in Trinidad. No, so. I'm not, I not in Guyana. Right. So, I'm not in Guyana. So, alright, but you can use a scotch bonnet pepper, that's fine. Please. Use a hot pepper. Use, Put it in here. Yes. Use some dry thyme, fresh thyme. Alright, and. I, we like the flavor of a shadow benny, so I put um, a little piece of shadow benny in here. We blended it up in a pressure cooker, and that's what you have right here. Okay, we have some jeera and some salt. You're gonna need all this for the potato balls. You're probably wondering what's all this back here, right? Yeah, buddy. And a, you need oil, of course. Here we have some curry powder. We have some masala. We have jeera. You're gonna need some yeast, guys. We're gonna need uh, baking powder, some turmeric, salt, black pepper, and you need to get yourself some yellow split peas. And you're probably like, why? Because you're gonna need to blend this up and make a polari mixture to make these potato balls. All right, chef and chefess, you see the mixture. Yeah, this is that polari mixture paste that we made. Let me tell you how we made this. So what we did was we took salt, pepper, onion, garlic, shadow benny, and a little bit of water, and we blended that up. See this mixture right here? Mm. All right. We took that, we added in our blender with our chickpeas. Then we took a little bit of curry powder, jeera, masala, salt, oh, sorry. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. Ooh, you're breaking Black up. pepper, turmeric, Yeast and baking powder. We took all these ingredients. Yeah, following me? We following you. We took all these ingredients and we added it in here. And we mix it up. And that's how you get this paste. But guys, let me tell you something. Let's just see one more time. One time. It Look, looks so good. You see this mixture? Mm. This is what you coat the potato balls in. But guys, if you want to be lazy and you don't want to mix all this together, you want, I don't want to do all these step by steps. You can buy the already made Pilori mixture. Instant mix. It's already mixed. It has all those ingredients in there. You can buy that. You add some water in there. You bada bing, bada boom. You're done. Done. That's the lazy way. But so, where are we wanna, dropping the picture? Like right I, here? But if, you, if you're not lazy and you want to take the time to add all these ingredients together, please do so because it's fresh. Fresh ingredients always taste better. 
So you're gonna tell them when you drop in the photo? Or yeah, I'm gonna drop the photo right now. Bam! They go the photo. You saw it? You saw it? Alright, yeah, I saw the photo. Yeah. So guys, if if that's how you wanna do it, you wanna take the short way out, you wanna take the quick way out, please do so. I'm gonna mix this up. Boil our potatoes for about seven to ten minutes with salt in the water. No oil, no butter, no nothing, all right? And we took them out, we strained them, and this is what we have here, okay? So I started mashing some of them to show you the consistency, and I'm gonna mash the rest to show you how to do it. So as you can see, this is how we want the consistency to be. We're coming in. All right, we, we didn't boil it too much, because then guess what, it was gonna be nice and mushy. Ooh, we don't want that. I see some big clumps there. Right, I'm gonna show them now. This is how we're gonna mush them. Oh, okay. You can take a potato ball or you can take um, a fork. I, I prefer a fork. You could, whatever is your preference. I have a potato mash, I should have took it out. He's a good masher, you know. Thank you. So now we're gonna take all of our ingredients that you see here. We have some black pepper. Let's put a little bit of black pepper in there, guys. We have our salt and some jeera, right? Jeera. Put a little bit in there. I'm just gonna put a little bit at a time because I like to mix it in, give it a little twist and stuff, and then mix some more, right? And this, we have about four teaspoons of our mix that we told you about, but I'll repeat it. Yes, please, tell us what's in that mix. We have our uh, Wee Wee or Scratch Bonnet hot pepper, we have dried thyme, we have an onion, we have garlic, and we have a little piece of shadow benny in there. We blended it up with a little bit of water. Oh, oh, question, question. Yeah. You like balls? Ha! <laughs> Gotti! Ha! Guys, if you guys um are free, <laughs> you still answer my question. You have free time and you can be my assistant or my camera guy or gal. Please let me know. Give me a comment because I'm looking to hire someone, all right? Wait, so that's my that's my know. job. You're fired. Why? After this video, you're fired. Why? Because you suck. Because I asked you for like balls? Because you just suck but overall. Just, but you make making balls. I can't. I'm going to drop this camera here, though. I'll punch you in your throat. Or stab you with a fork. Look, 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 look. Woman, woman. Listen, so y'all saw how I put that in there and mixed it? Look. No, we don't need to look. We're I wish you guys can smell this because it smells I smell so it. amazing. It does. Let's it's... put the rest of my... um. You know what? You smell like a roti shop. Mi it smells like a roti shop right now. Good. And I know you guys haven't seen you. I'm probably like, why should you put those scallions in there? I have extra scallions in that, in that bowl, guys. But you just need about two scallions, maybe two and a half. Put them in there, mix it up. You could chop it even smaller, but I don't mind it being this size. Oh, I'm making a mess. Mm. What are you snacking on, nigga? I tasted a little bit of the potato to see if I need a little bit more salt, a little bit more. You put the jeera in there? You know jeera, get that shit, in, take that to another level. If you were paying attention, I said I oh, I'm sorry. a little bit of jeera, and oh, then as I bad. mix it, I'm going to add the rest of the jeera and the salt. Okay. You don't listen. You don't listen. listen I don't know, what well, you think is that bobbly? You are bobbly. You think is that bobbly? It's a stripper tea. Oh, now it's a stripper tea. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, let's go nice. Yeah. Cut! Cut! Can we cut the scene already? Is this scene not done yet? All right, guys, I'm gonna mix this around. Then I'm gonna make some little potato balls, and then I'm gonna show you what the potato balls look yeah, like. Sure right? I hope you guys made that mixture. If you didn't make the mixture, then you bought the polori mixture. Now it's time to take our potato balls. We're gonna roll it in the mixture. Guys, if you don't wanna dirty your hands, you can use a spoon that has holes in it and dip it that way. Fix your face. Nobody asked you. And I'm telling them. Look at that. We took our polori mixture, we dipped it in our batter, rolled it around, play with it, spin it, twirl it. Ooh, this thing is buried in there. Ooh. And then I'm gonna put it in a pot with the hot frying oil. Look at that. These two, are already, these two are already mixed. So I'm just gonna throw them in there. Ooh, come on, making a mess, making a mess. Guys, that's Look at that. so simple, so easy. You're gonna let that coat for about five to 10 minutes. Let it fry. And you're gonna flip it. Sorry. No, you tell them, please. Please, Chef Sam, tell them. 
Nine, go ahead, tell nine. Them. All right, flip it till it's like golden brown, not too dark, guys. And you know, the potatoes are already cooked, so you don't want to cook it too long because it'll burn. And then take it out, put it on a paper towel, and enjoy. You can eat it with some tamarind sauce, you can eat it with some mango sour, and that's it. Go ahead, Chef Trini, talk. Oh, you done? You can, done? I, can I catch your tongue? You, you, you quiet. You, you done? <laughs> I done, I good. All right, so fans. Guys, ready for the finished product. Show them the finished product, boo. Ooh! Look at that. <laughs> Let me lick the damn thing. Let me lick it. Let me lick. Oh, guys. Check out these potato balls. And we have some mango sour here, guys. Ooh, guys. You want to know how to make this mango sour? I'm going to put the link in the description how to make this mango sour. Mm. Let me get a little dip. Let me get a little dip. Ladies first. Show them, show them inside, show them inside. Look at this, look at this potato. So soft. Look at this potato. Oh, it's still piping hot. Like it? Guys, this is banging. You guys have to make this. I'm loving it. Guys, you have to make it. Make it! You know what these new kids say? It's bussing. It's bussing. These potato balls are bussing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know. I never heard of that. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's this new slang mm -hmm. that these kids are using. It's bussing. It's crack. Yo, make these potato balls because it's bussing. Guys. Clearly, I'm a millennial. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And we are out.